Toby and the folks in the press will, will after everybody speaks, we'll have a chance for questions if you'd like. Uh, next up is uh, Brian Rothenberg, who's the executive director of Progress Ohio. Brian? Sorry. Um, increasingly, as um, this General Assembly has gone through the last two years, um, the influence of extreme organizations like ALEC uh, and extreme legislative proposals have um, taken hold. Um, however, the first and most disturbing thing about this press conference is the first time in my 26 plus years here in Columbus that I've ever seen a legislator use a single issue like this was when Margie Condit's uh, invitation went out. Folks, the, the danger here is when you have extreme issues uh, that try to prey upon our legislature, that rational thought and moderate discussion comes to an end. Uh, that politicians are beholden more to the special interests than they are to the people that sent them here. That discussion is ended because you can't have a rational discussion over these extreme uh, wedge issues that politicians are preying on. Let me give you a couple examples on this gun show loophole issue. This is an issue that affects all of us. Mark Nelson has been illegally convicted of selling more than 500 guns, many at the Westland Mall Gun Show here in Columbus, Ohio. One of the illegal guns that Mr. Nelson sold in Columbus ended up in the hands of a terrorist trying to cross the Canadian border. Ronald Paramore, another Columbus resident, was arrested selling guns illegally at the Westland Gun Mall. He sold more than 200 firearms without a background check. And many of them were traced to violent crimes in both Chicago and Columbus. David Gadon is the American-born senior Al-Qaeda spokesman and operative. Many of you have seen him. He recently posted a, a video where he told Americans, you can go to a gun show at the local convention center and come away with a fully automatic assault rifle without a background check, might, most likely without having to show an identification card. So what are you waiting for? Those were the quotes of the American-born Al-Qaeda spokesperson. And yet we now have a legislator bragging about the access to these guns. Children's Defense Fund, and I'm not going to take all these statistics because I think my colleague, the Reverend, had some of these statistics. Children's Defense Fund recently released a report. One of the most shocking things in their report, in the last, in 2008 and 2009, 34,387 American children and teens were injured by guns. In the entire war in Iraq, the total number of people wounded in Iraq were 32,223. And the total number wounded, not killed, wounded in Afghanistan was 15,438 folks. There are more children and teens that are injured by guns in this country than have been injured in the entire Iraq war. Governor Kasich, Speaker Batchelder, and Chairman Bennett should be calling Representative Cunn and telling her to cancel this event. It's irresponsible. It's beneath the dignity of the Ohio legislature. And more importantly, it's beneath the dignity of her constituents.